Our next movie is a real weirdo, one of the strangest, most depraved, certainly most depressing movies I've ever seen. It's called Parents, and it takes place in the 1950s in a typical American suburb where a quiet little boy begins to hate and fear his parents because he feels that they're keeping some very unpleasant secrets from him. For example, what about those enormous choice cuts of prime meat on the table every night? Where do they come from? We had leftovers every day since we moved here. I'd like to know what they were before they were leftovers. Well, before that, they were leftovers to be. That's Randy Quaid and Mary Beth Hurt as the pleasant but somehow sinister parents, and Brian Madorsky as the shy little boy. He has the usual little boy doubts and fears, which are not exactly soothed by his sinister father. You're scaring him. Am I? Am I? Oh, well, mister, you scare me, too. You don't look like me. You don't act like me. You hate me. No wonder the kid begins to think his parents are strange, and yet in a social setting, they seem to fit right in. You know, you are making a glutton out of me. How do you make this? Actually, I got it off the side of the corn checks box. I don't believe that. It's true. I don't believe that. And instead of raisins, I use miniature marshmallows. Mmm. So good. One of the weirdest scenes in the movie comes when Mary Beth Hurt tries to discuss her child with a school psychologist played by Sandy Dennis. I wonder, could you tell me, do Michael and his father have a, a close relationship? Very close. What kind of things do they do together? Oh, many things. <laughs> like what? Oh, that's hard to say. I would just, I would have to say many things and, and just leave it at that. The whole movie uses that same strategy of trying to give a kind of slice of life of 50s normality with the strangeness that's always underneath it all. The little kid retreats inside himself as his parents create a world of secrets and threats and hidden dangers, and they're really hostile toward him, especially the father. The weirdest thing about this weird movie is that it has no other purpose, as far as I can tell, than to disgust, especially after we discover that Dad is cutting up human cadavers to stock the family meat locker. There are scenes that are put together like a comedy, but they're not very funny, and other scenes that look satirical, but satirical of what? I don't know. The movie is finally and basically just a very dark and depressing nightmare, a bizarre excursion through disgusting images. It's the kind of movie where you sit there and you have a really, really creepy bad time. Not me. No? I actually enjoyed it. And oh, this well, is I a can real... believe that of you somehow. No, no. This is a real switcheroo because really? you know how um, tough I am on science fiction or horror pictures and all that. Uh -huh. And I have a short fuse, as you do, for gory images. And when I saw the kid fall into a bed of blood, as it turns out, in one of his first nightmares, mm -hmm. I thought, oh, I was ready to check out. Mm -hmm. But I thought that the film had a sense of humor to it that overrid everything else. And I thought it did capture the feeling that children have when they are terrified of their parents, uh, of, of the adult world, uh, of things that are beyond their control, of things that seem strange, and I thought it captured that feeling beautifully. I thought I liked the whole 50s decor. I laughed at uh -huh. the parts of it. I think the film eventually worked for me, and I'm really surprised you didn't like it because you have uh, uh, wide, I wide ranging taste. Yes, go you go for wider out things than you do sometimes. Sometimes. Yes, but not this time because it seemed to me that the movie didn't find that way to kind of twist its material and make it funny. It just oh, stayed there on the screen. It was really kind of, you know, Randy Quaid, the finger down the throat no, kind of No, Randy thing. Quaid was, first of all, it's not as gory as, and sloppy as a lot of pictures that we've seen. That's number one. Number two, I think it has a very sense of humor. I mean, the shots of the meat are uh, funny in the frying pan. I mean, there, it's, in other words, <laughs> that's funny stuff. Randy Quaid looking at his kid, and the kid, and it's a point of view of the uh, kid, too, uh, and just being terrified as a child of the adult world, and also having being uh, insufferable is, for hating the adult This world. is a real litmus test, because I think it's totally disgusting. You think it's funny. I, I do. I think this will be a cult film.